Alright, that was the other main quest. The Wildlands is actually 100% complete and done. Oh, I think I snapped off the uh, other ear to my microphone. And we've got 5 G's and Gill. And maximum EP plus 1 and recovery item capacity plus 1. I think we got two of those. Recovery items? Yeah, we got two extra slots. Awesome. Um, so, now that we have nine of those... Now what? Oh, we don't have to worry about them. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So, our next goal is to actually go ahead and go take on the final, uh, the boss of the Dead Dunes. So we're gonna go ahead and warp there now. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh, well, that's all taken care of. This guy right here... ...is very important. I know you. You're that new band that everyone's talking about, aren't you? Well, I don't listen to rumors. Ooh, look at Little Miss Antisocial. Well, I'm Jameis, former bandit. Former? Sure, now I'm just a useless sponge soaked in booze. I drink a whole ocean of chaos if it drown my sorrows. I've been away from the desert for a while now, but I came right back when I heard about you, girly. <laughs> and what do I have to do with anything? Sit back and let me tell you the tale about my days as a greedy bandit. If I'd do anything, I'd pick a ruin clean and then go right back out for more. Even someone like me had a family. We may not have been related by blood, but my kids loved me like I was the greatest. But 156 years ago, on a day I can't forget, a day I don't want to remember! Then don't. No one's asking you to. Hold on, please. I've come all this way. At least hear me out. That day I had taken the kids with me to the ruins. It was just a regular day of exploration. Until those damn skeletons appeared. There wasn't time to get the kids away. The only ones who survived. Was you. So you've been blaming yourself? And plotting your vengeance? Is that it? <laughs> you overestimate a drunk like me. You think a washed-up loser like me has the guts to seek vengeance? I just turned tail and ran away, straight into a bottle. All I could do was hate those skeletons from afar. Yet you came back to the desert now. All because you heard about me joining the gang? I did. You managed to open the seals that no one else has been able to do a thing about. When I heard that, I knew that if anyone could help me, it was you. So I came back. I've got to ask you a favor. I know you don't owe me a thing, but you're the only one I can ask. I'll get down and beg you. Just please, please, destroy every last one of those skeleton bastards. Wipe them off the face of the world. I'll never rest easy until I know that they're gone. You couldn't save the children, but you think this might... I know it's too much to ask a string. Anyway, we have 21 skeletons remaining uh, because we killed quite a bit of them but we need to slay every single last one of them, so we have to knock them into extinction for this guy. Which, uh, I do recommend that you do. Never mind that. It won't be easy, though. You'd better be ready for a wait. I'll repay you somehow for this. I'll wait however long it takes. Anyway, that's that quest, and we can take care of that as soon as we are ready. Alright, so now, let's go ahead and go grab some more items for this boss battle here. Alright, I think that's all I need. Where's my health? Uh, I need to go ahead and heal. Now that that's taken care of, the last main story quest that the game requires us to do is the uh, Dead Dunes in this part here. And if, as you can see, pretty much this this whole way that I've been showing you how to play the game, more or less, was damn near perfect. So, 
you haven't missed a single day, and within six days of the game, you can have this whole, you can have all the main quests finished. And this is not with a new game plus or anything like that. Now I just hope I'm ready to take this on this open, boss. We'll be face to face with the clavis at last, and who knows what else? I wouldn't be letting your guard down just yet. <laughs> like I need reminding. How long do you think I've been out here in the desert? I'm picking up a huge energy source from within right, the sacred gate. Saved. It's just like Fang said. The clavis lies before you. It's close. It's right here. It may have finally made it. Yeah, we've gone and done it. No way to go but forward now. So that's the Holy Clavis. The magic box that'll bring together all the souls of the dead. Feel that? It's like some kind of force pushing down on my chest. There's no question. That artifact is definitely emitting powerful energy. No human could have made this. Not without divine help. Either that or the gods themselves made it. Hope, fill us in. What's happening? It's the seculars. They're close. And they're armed. I'm sorry. They must have been hiding in the chaos. It's fine. Forget about it. Fang, it looks like Secutors have already... Sorry about this, Vanille! Uh, Fang! Uh, what are you doing? Uh, this is what you've been looking for! I'm not letting anyone else have it. If Vanille uses this damn thing, she'll die. What do you mean? Damn this thing! It's a bloody curse! Yeah, purify the dead. Put them to their eternal rest. All it'll take is the life of a saint. Vanille is dead set on going through with it. She'll martyr herself to the past and then... <gasps> You bastards want to take it from me? No! You have done an admirable job. The Sacred One will doubtless be pleased. Allow us to thank you on her behalf. Alright, here's our next and final boss of the main story. Well, not the final boss, but the final boss of... Before the one was. You call her the sacred one. But you're the ones who want her to die. That ceremony is not gonna happen. Hear this, heathen. You insult the order of salvation. And in doing so, you blaspheme our almighty God. God's judgment be upon you. May you repent with your death. Look at your hands on the clavis over my dead body. So light, you wanna lend me a hand? <laughs> you're asking now? Let's do it, Fang! Don't let your guard down! What's done is done. Can you see my blade? Same thing again, just knock down his protective circle. Man, this guy used to be a hell of a lot harder when I first played Wait, 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 wait.
actually wasn't so bad. This is when he becomes an asshole. I think I can actually take him out. Chronostasis, or not chronostasis, uh... I never showed off of his conditions. Unleash physical and magical attacks when the enemy is protected by barriers. The effect is greater when the enemy is using Seance. Unleash physical and magical attacks when the enemy's barrier has fallen. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. It's not, it's not that hard of a, it's not that hard of a boss. So, but that was it. And we got one star, but screw it. The game, the game's fucking ranking system is retarded. Well, anyway, that's it. That's all the main quests for the game. They took the class. Oh, shit. Bastards! Won't open. They must have sealed it. Damn it! We're not getting through that way. The sooner you accept it, the better. What's the deal with the clavis? What does it really do? Doesn't it ease the dead suffering? Oh, it eases it all right. See, they get Vanille to summon the souls from out of the chaos with the clevis, then destroy them. No more soul, no more suffering. They're just gonna destroy them all? Does Vanille understand what she's doing? She knows it, just like she knows it'll kill her. And she just goes on saying she's gotta do it. She says it's the only way to stop the cries she hears, the only way to save them. And you didn't want to let her die like that. So you tried to get the clevis yourself? Yeah. That was the plan. I was looking for it, all right. But not to give it to her. To keep it from her. I knew what would happen if the Order got it. Vanille would kill herself for a lie. So I joined up the bandits here and watched over the ruins. And as long as no one found it, I could leave well enough alone. Now you see why I came along with you? I had to make sure that the Savior wouldn't hand the Clavis over to the Order. I didn't even trust an old friend like you. That's low. 
You even doubted your old pal Lightning, spying on her like she was going to stab you in the back. But I guess it's not so different from the way I spied on you. I had to wait forever to tip those guys off. You? You're the one who led the Secutors to us? Exactly. And without hope even noticing a thing. Now the Order has their little Clavis and they're beating a trail back to Luxarian. I can't wait to see that ceremony, can you? All those useless souls purified forever in return for Vanille's life. Even the soul that was once Sarah wiped away like it never existed. When does the ceremony take place? It'll happen on the last day of the world. When the final bells start to toll across the land, Vanil will face the clavis and begin the soul song. <sighs> <laughs> Fang, Vanille is going to die. You never did mince words. And I can't save her. So, what's your point? I save souls by granting them what they wish for. If Vanille wishes for death with all her heart, then I have to let her have it. I have no choice. You're saying you'd let her die? Yes, if she doesn't change her mind. I can't do it for her. You are the only one who knows how she feels. The only one who can save her from her darkness. You always have been. Hmm. All right, all right. I get it. I get it, Vanille. You hear me? We're in this together, until the very end. <laughs>